Hey, this is Daryl Webster here, and congratulations to Microsoft and the Office team for their release of Office 2016 today. It's really exciting. We see this great big blog post here with already 460 shares, and there's so much in there um, to learn and to hear about Office, especially around making it easier for us to work together and reducing some of that friction. Um, so one thing I wanted to, uh, to point out and, and, and help you to, to get Office onto your machines um, before I circle around with other blog posts about what's great and new within Office 2016, I want to point out how to get it onto your machines because I did find this slightly confusing um, to, to begin with. So my expectation was Office 365, I'm subscribing to this new service, um, I get the, the latest version of Office uh, when it gets released. And there is a, a, a new way to deploy Office at the moment um, that's come out with 2016 that we need to be aware of before we um, can sort of approach this. So the, the deployment method is called the current branch for business. And I just want to draw your attention to a great video that's being released now in uh, Office Mechanics on YouTube. And it takes you through a couple of these scenarios and talks briefly about the current branch for business model. Um, this one in particular talks about how to use the, both the Office deployment tool and also how to make the Office bits available to your users within the uh, Office 365 portal. So um, this is the thing about current branch for business, that it's now going to be on by default if you haven't turned on the first release option in your portal. Um, it means that three times a year you will be getting feature releases um, and other than that you'll be getting security releases or security updates each month. So for us on day one for Office 365 and we're, we've got, um, we're wanting to use Office 2016, the key thing to do is to go into your portal and to make sure that you have activated first release either for your whole organization if you want to make it available to your whole organization or to a select group of people so that they will be able to see the option to install Office 2016 in their, um, in their portal settings. So what does that look like for the user uh, from their perspective? So if we go over to my portal, I've got the uh, um, Office installation page open in my Office uh, settings. And I do have you know, the few machines that I've got it installed on and activated. Now we have the option here, um, install the latest version of Office. And on day one, today, the latest version of Office is not this option. Um, this is still Office 2013. So I've been uh, enabled for first release in my portal. And below that, we have an option to try the next version of Office. Now, this option has been familiar to those of us who have been using the technical preview of Office 2016. We have seen this from, from the portal, and we install the um, Office 2016 bits and pieces. Um, now, for those of us who have already done that, guess what? The version that you're on right now, you don't have to do anything to install the generally available version of Office 2016. You've already got it. Um, and for those of us who haven't installed it yet, um, and we have been enabled for first release, then we'll see this option. And this is the option that you want to choose. You'll choose your installation language, of course, and you'll click install. Now the experience of this too is that it's going to install over the top of Office 2013. Office 2013 won't exist anymore. It doesn't sit there in parallel like, like we had that experience with 2010 and 2013. 2016 will go over the top of it, and I've even noticed uh, on, on my desktop that it pins the, the five key applications in the suite to my taskbar to make sure that I know that they're there. Um, but that's the experience. So, um, you know, key things to remember, if you want to make this available to your people to install from the portal, um, you do need to turn on first release. Otherwise, you'll be waiting till February 2016 for this to um, tick over and, and the Office 2016 installation will become the option that says install the latest version of Office and that will, that will be when um, Office 2016 is available via the current branch model, current branch business model. Um, so for today, if you want it from the portal and you, and you find uh, the Office deployment tool a little bit too bewildering, then um, enable first release either for the whole organization or for some select people and then they will get this option in their portal to install um, Office 2016. So enjoy, um, I will be doing other blog posts, um, I do like to look at things a little differently about um, how applications are used and I like to make connections between the various things and see how they're integrated. So that's what my blog posts are going to be focused on um, in the future uh, days ahead to show you how to use Office in its entirety 
um, and how they all link together and help us to be more productive with the, the groups of people that we work with together. Uh, congratulations again, Microsoft, and um, we look forward to seeing uh, more of the, the features rolling out and enjoying more of what you've released to us today.